The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Hope you're having a great start to your day. Hey, um, first things first, let's keep with our solid routine at the moment by going through the news to kick off our day. And uh, looking right now across Coindesk, we're seeing Bitcoin price trapped in key make or break trading range. Now, not that I agree with that completely. I mean, look, it doesn't, you know, if, if Bitcoin moves down, I don't think it breaks it. <laughs> um, I think the breaking point, well, not the breaking point, but I think the really bearish point would have to be if we break down through the low of 37.61. And although we're a couple of hundred dollars above that, uh, which, you know, we're only a couple of hundred dollars from setting new highs in the trend. So we're sitting right at the midpoint. And they consolidate for quite some time yet, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. The real crunch point is if we actually break down through the lows of 2018 on the December 15 low of 3,215. But, you know, I'm still sitting here, I'm still enthusiastic, and I'm still watching this market thinking, well, there's not a great deal going on, not on Bitcoin, but the alt market is pumping. Second bit of news here, key indicators show Bitcoin price could be losing steam on Bloomberg. Well done, Bloomberg, once again, touching on something you've got no idea about. And I'm not just saying that because I want Bitcoin to do well, but I mean, here's the follow up. Technical gauges signaling long term buying demand for Bitcoin are deteriorating, and as such, buying pressure could increase. Oh, I don't know. They, they seem like the left hand's not speaking to the right over there in Bloomberg's land. Uh, Ripple price eyeing upside break versus Bitcoin. I don't know where they're going to get that from because to me, it's completely sideways. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. We're seeing Binance Trust Wallet add support for Ripple credit card payments. Wonderful cryptocurrency block products. Sutler Ventures welcomes the Block Venture Coalition as partner. Try and say that 10 times. Bitcoin carnage, much more attractive for institutions. Big inflow expected. Okay, that's on, I don't know, some new site I've never heard of before. We've got NASDAQ licenses, tech to new cryptocurrency trading platform. Excellent. Binance, again, back in the news, talking about it surging, which is interesting because it's down 2.2%. Again, an indication of news being nothing but information that you can look at. It's not an indicator for buying or selling. And then we've got... Some Mickey news, mickey.com.au, Trader Cobb, Bitcoin battles with 4,000, what's next? That's me, we've already done that. Mexico Central Bank publishes Catch-22 rules impacting crypto exchanges, so Mexico Central Bank's in the mix now. Electronium, uh, will ETN get listed in top crypto exchange? Okay, so it's a very specula speculatory bit of news. Suspicious behavior on Kraken exemplifies the gap between crypto and legacy market structure. Yes, we've got a long way to go, certainly with legacy markets leading the way and crypto following behind. So let's have a look at the markets with our eyes and with our ears. If you're on the podcast, guys, looking here at here, what we've got is, again, nothing much really going on, down 0.37 of a percent. And again, a very, very quiet session, completely sideways, not really much going on there. The four hour is starting to look a little bit more bearish, but I mean, look, it's... <laughs> There's nothing for me to be trading at this stage. It's still very, very um, undecided. Ethereum, again, sideways down 1.64% and holding once again within that tight range like Bitcoin. EOS had been a very top performer at the beginning part of the year and all the way through February, we did see some very strong gains there. Again, we're just holding up around that $3.60 mark and basically biding time for what's next. Stellar Lumens pushes on to another high in this recent uptrend, catching up a little bit to some of the other tokens out there in the top 10. It's up 2.74% today and um, although not wonderfully um, epic for trading. If you had taken a trade a little bit earlier on against the dollar, which you can't, it would have been looking pretty good for raising your stop today. Ripple had a push to the upside overnight. Um, it's pulled all the way back and it currently sits up 0.72%. Litecoin has a fairly decent decline today after being uh, pretty much the most positive for quite some time in the most recent set of trends. We do have that high bullish candle there. I have been stalking this for an uptrend, sorry, a trade to the upside. And uh, right now as it stems, it's down 2.5%, still in a very strong uptrend. Bitcoin Cash is down 0.34%. There really is nothing to talk about there. 
in the way of any potential trades. Binance is pulling back into that cradle zone on that four hour time frame. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit more of a deep pullback here on the Binance token. Uh, hopefully that would represent a trading opportunity for me because my stop is still set quite wide here. And for me, I'm looking for options to raise my stop and also re-enter this market or enter more trades uh, on Binance as it has been trending phenomenally well. Tron's doing nothing and Card oh, and Tron sorry is down 0.32%, Cardano down 2.3, sorry 2.23 of a percent and again not a great deal going on. Ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you to get across to the website, get yourself on the bi-weekly video news, check out the webinars as well www.trader.com forward slash free tools. The reason I say this is because the video I'm going to be doing and have been, so some of the videos recently, have been pushing people in the direction of what to look for and at what times. Of course, we've been seeing Bitcoin very, very sideways over the last few weeks, basically nearly a month now. And with that being the case, opportunities do certainly present themselves. My watch list right now, for the most part, is against Bitcoin. There is a reason for that. It's because Bitcoin's sideways. So if you want to learn how to trade or if you want to learn where the action is, even if you don't want to trade, you've got to get across to tradercob.com and take advantage of some of the free opportunities that are currently there. Also, it's Women's Week, 30% off for International Women's Week. Yes, I know it was last Friday, but we're doing a week here to celebrate women. Have a great day. I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain.